Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Alex and this is AMRC. Today I'll be flying my Hobby Zone Champ S Plus. Since the last time I flew it, I put on a new prop and spinner. The old ones were a bit damaged. And I'm at a slightly new location. Still on the road I usually fly on, but a bit further out. Plenty of space this direction. Also this way, but there's power lines and I'm a bit concerned by that. With my luck, I'll probably fly straight into them. And here it's in the middle of uh, the paved road, so cars are passing by a lot faster. So I think I'll go that way. And of course, I want to test my new phone camera, see how it does in light. I was kind of disappointed by the focus at night, but we'll see how this goes. I decided I'll fly it pointing this way, so I have a better view of the road. Let's go. Have a bit of wind today, not too bad. I think all time this is the plane I have most flights on. I got this after the yellow and orange Hobby Zone Champ. And this was my first plane with safe. I also switched to Spectrum transmitters when I got this. It was a big step for me. I really, really learned a lot in this plane. Being four channel, learned to do loops, rolls, inverted flying, knife edges. I'm not saying I'm doing them perfectly, but at least I could try them with this. And the cool thing is, it being a trainer, has three flight modes. So this is beginner. That's about as much as it lets you bank it. Has intermediate. That's got 75, 80 degrees bank. That still won't let you flip over. Roll over, and of course, the AS3X only or advanced mode. And yeah, it's not a very acrobatic plane, but it's very, very forgiving to fly. Of course, this one is also discontinued by Horizon. It's such a shame. I mean, it did have some features that I was excited about at first. Has a GPS inside it. That has the fencing. It won't let it go too far away from you. When it reaches a certain distance from where it, you took off, it just turns around, circles. I think it also had the holding pattern. You just flip a switch and it circles on its own, keeping altitude. It also had the auto land, but after I got it, I started reading online about it, and uh, there were lots of people who said had problems with things just flying away, or behaving funny. So I just deactivated it and stayed like that. And yeah, for someone new to flying, you can see how it could be useful. It's more of a gimmick, if you ask me. Yeah. 
Okay, no break. Yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about this plane. It's really, really good for beginners. I think the only times I've crashed it is when I crashed into stuff. That's a big bird. Still getting used to this flying spot. There's some bushes and trees here. Also a bit of wind. But yeah, this plane is perfect for trying out new flying spots. Really confident with it. And I get, I get really good flight times. Have a 300 milliamp 2S battery in it. I mean, that's about as large as you can fit in it. And I can get 8 minutes and still land at 3.8 volts. I'm going to start getting ready for landing. Actually, I don't want to go on a bit Try some inverted flying, it's a bit higher up. Uh, spun back around. I think the wing plays a big part in how this flies. It has a bit of dihedral. I don't know if you can see it, but it tends to level the plane even without the safe. There's the army shooting range. I was asked not to fly too near to. And there's also a quarry right next to it, so. There's banks. I don't know if it's from the quarry or the shooting range. <clears throat> okay, timer's up. I think I had it set up for seven minutes. Sure, no cars are coming in. Coming for a landing. That tree there, I don't like it. Yeah, it's into the wind. Look how slow it can go. It's a really floaty plane. And this is in beginner mode. Okay, let's try and go around the tree. Intermediate mode now, zero throttle. Look at it, it's gliding down. Oop. That was a dead stick landing. Oh, really nice flight with this. Really enjoyed it, guys. Now I hope the new camera phone, the camera on the phone, does better during daytime. Really excited about this phone. I had a Samsung S10e. It's about three, four years old. And sometimes when I was filming, the picture just kept twitching. So it's one of the reasons I wanted to change it. So now I got a Zenfone 9 by Asus. 
but yeah. I don't know if I posted that already, or if I'll post it. I did a night flight with my UMX Timber X and didn't go fairly well. And I mean, the picture was better, but had a lot of trouble focusing. So I'll do some more testing and see if I keep this on or I'll return it and get something else instead. Just maybe just stick with my old one and buy some more planes. <laughs> that would be more fun. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye.